Hi, my name is Amal, and I'm going to be your party planner today. Yes, it's great to meet you. Um, you're the appointment for 3 o'clock, correct? Yes, okay. Um, I'm just going to write a few notes down. We're going to talk about um, what you want from the party, um, budget, length of time, who it's for, um, things of that nature, okay? Um, so we're going to start off with your file. Yes, just have a seat right there. Um, who is this party for? It's for a child? Okay. Um, was it a boy or a girl? Okay. Um, what age is the child? Four. Okay. So we're dealing with a younger party. Um, well, what is your budget? How much do you plan to spend? So we don't want to go too extravagant, right? Okay. Just keep it fun and friendly. Um, what length of time do you want the party to last? Twelve to four? No, that's usually a good amount of time to let the kids play and eat and things of that nature. So that's pretty normal. Also, um, do you have a location already? No? Okay. I can suggest places. Um, we actually work very closely with Camp Charles, if you're familiar with them. You're not? Okay. Camp Charles is just a little place that has um, a playground, some fire pits, um, a big lake, and it's a popular destination for children's parties and get-togethers. You like that? Okay, yeah, we can actually, I can set up an appointment to go and look around and scope out the place with you if you'd like. Okay, well, I'll set that up over the phone. Um, since we work with them, they're pretty used to that. Don't need to be on such a long notice. So I think 12 p.m. tomorrow? It's good? Okay, we'll do that. And I'll see you there, or you can meet me back here. And we can go to my car if you'd like. Okay. So the party will be outdoors. Or we could get a tent if you'd like. Outdoors, yeah. The weather, depending on the date we choose, we'll make sure it's nice and uh, bright outside and sunny for the kids to play. Also, let's see. It is very spacious. We'll have um, our own little spot. Be very private and away from other people. Um, let's see what else we need to go over. Make sure I set up our appointment. Okay, how many people will we be having at the party? 40? Okay. And how many of those are going to be children? Okay. Is it going to be a mixed party? Will there be um, boys and girls? Okay. Yeah, we ask that because we do party favors and um, gift bags. So we need to know whether to do um, like a more girly gift bag or a unisex gift bag. So. Um, do you want a theme? Is this going to be a theme party? Um, we can do color themes. Um, maybe if the child likes a certain TV show, we could do something like that. Um, Last week I did Adora the Explorer Party. That went off really well. Or you can also do like a circus theme. That tends to be very popular because it's um, very middle ground. It can be a boys and girls thing. You want to do colors? Okay. Well, good color scheme right now. Um, depends on your child's preference and yours as well. If you have a really girly girl, um, we can do the whole pink and frilly sort of type deal. Or something that's really in right now that is still feminine is brown and blue. That tends to offset everything nicely. Um, since it is outdoors though, um, the theme isn't, the colors aren't going to be a big deal because you're going to have so much beautiful scenery as well. 
most of the colors will just be in the plates and the streamers and things like that. Blue and brown. Okay, we can do that. Let me write that down. Um, do you want to see swatches or no, just like, you want a basic blue and brown? Um, the blue we tend to use is a lighter blue. The brown is like a chocolate. Yeah. yeah. So next we are going to deal with the food, okay? Yeah, the biggest part of the party. Um, since we're dealing with children, I recommend finger fruits because they're going to be running around. They're not going to want to sit down to eat. Um, party favorites tend to include the chicken nuggets or chicken fingers, um, fruit kebab, celery sticks. Um, some children do like um, celery. If you put peanut butter on it to trick them to eating their vegetables as well. Um, little bagel bites of pizza, something quick they can eat and grab and not get too messy is also a top. And we also can do baby carrots, perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> um, and of course we'll do cake. We're going to have it um, on the picnic table. And we'll set it down and do the candles and of course, you know, have plates for that. Um, food, we go through a catering company that we work closely with called Bites. Yes, you've heard of them? Yeah, they have really great food. And with cake, we tend to go through Angel City Cakes. Mm -hmm. um, we can do taste testings with the catering company. I'll set that up where you just go and make sure that everything is to your liking. And we're going to work with the cake company also to find out what you want. I believe they have up to 50 different flavor combinations as well. Um, do you know what kind of cake you would want? Like, do you want it to be the same as the theme colors, or do you want a, like, a Barbie cake, something like that? No, you don't have to know now. Um, I just wanted to know if I could give them maybe a heads up of maybe what you would go for. So, maybe just the colors? Yeah, what they would do is maybe do some, like, polka dots with blue and brown with fondant in it, and her initials perhaps, that's very in right now, and we'll stack them up from the largest and go smaller and smaller and smaller. And they will make it according to how many people we need to be fed, yeah. Okay, now we're going to go on to the activities at the party. Um, do you have any in mind already? A clown? Okay. This is my personal opinion on clowns. Um, seeing as we're dealing with younger children, from my experience, they tend to be very afraid of clowns. Yeah, it's... Clowns are a bit of a misconception when it comes to children's parties. I don't particularly recommend them. Instead, you could maybe do, um, perhaps Spongebob or Spider-Man or Dora, you know, whatever the kid likes. Um, they tend to be more kid-friendly. You want to look into that? Yeah. Um, I know there's a couple that actually do that. And we do check the background of the person and make sure they're legitimate. Um, do you know anything that she would like in particular? You can just name off a few and I can look them up. Okay, so she does like Dora and Spongebob. With Dora, we can actually... Um, bring Diego as well. They're known to be a little team, a duo. That's one of our top picks for children. Also, um, besides that, something I recommend is a bounce house. Yeah, it's the inflatable bounce house and the kids go in it and they just jump a lot. Um, it's relatively cheap and it keeps them occupied for a very long period of time. It tends to make them tired and you know, they get their energy out in a great way. Can be a bit loud, but you know, that's expected. <laughs> yeah. We'll look into that one as well. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, if 
part of your entertainment is actually going to be free because you are going to be at Camp Charles and they have the playground sets. It has slides and monkey bars and a merry-go-round and it is on a lake. Um, you need to make sure the children are safe, of course, but they do have rowboats and um, the bicycles as well that you go on the lake with. Yeah, the inflatable ones. Okay, so part of that is taken care of already. Um, another thing that's popular is a balloon artist. They can make balloon hats, balloon animals, and it tends to make for a very memorable party. The kids tend to really like it. Yeah. Okay, we'll book one of those as well. All of this would be after the food, or preferably before, if that's what you want. My recommendation is maybe do it in half, like the bounce house be before food and um, either Dora and Diego and then eat and then have the balloon artist or you can interchange the balloon artist and Dora and Diego because yeah, they're not too much uh, movement um, after the kids eat they'll probably be really tired so. and we don't want any um, upset stomachs as well okay also, I'm going to have music playing in the background. Camp Charles does have speakers set up on the poles. Um, it will be children or kid friendly. Um, make sure to screen everything. Um, if you have particular songs you'd like, you can feel free to email them to me or you could even make a CD yourself. Okay, let's get that on there. We went over that. And also for gift bags. Seeing as it's going to be a unisex party, I was thinking we can just do some non-gender specific bags. Or if you wanted, we could do separate bags based on the kids that are coming. It's easier just to do all one because it tends to make a... Some of the kids might get jealous of the other gifts and want something the other one has, so it's better just to give them all the same thing. Um, a little bit of candy in there, the bounce rocks, and just normal things you would think of for little kids. Whistles. Yeah, it'll probably drive the parents crazy, but they'll enjoy it. Okay, so we'll do that. And uh, do you want the same color scheme with the gift bags? Okay. So we're going to go brown and blue. But how much do you want to spend on these gift bags? Do you want them to be a big part of the party? No? Okay. And presents. Okay. There is going to be a t uh, picnic table specifically for presents. Um, when she opens them, that's up to you to decide. Some parents like to save it until everyone's gone, and then some people like to have it very public for everyone to see the reaction of the child. You want to let everyone see. Okay, I'd say we could do it after they eat. I think after food is probably the best time um, to let their stomach settle before the next activity and give them something to do. Oh, I forgot to ask. Um, do you already have invitations? You do, but you don't like them? Okay. Invitations. We are going to want people to RBSP just because, um, you know, we need to have the right amount of gift bags and food. So, brown and blue, we're going to do that again. I'm going to need you to send me the contacts. I could send them out, or if you'd like, you could fill them out yourself. They're going to be very basic invitations. We don't want to spend too much. Um, And uh, that should go pretty well. Do you want party hats? Yeah, some parents don't really like them. They just feel like it's too much to add on. Do you want the... I forget what they're called. Um, they're like the little whistles. No? Okay. Some people, yeah, the noise can be quite annoying. So 
so we won't do those, but we'll do hats. And as far as silverware, we're going to do plastic, of course. Um, there will be a restroom on location. And make sure it's clean. I'm going to scan everything. I'm going to walk you through everything. Make sure everything is to your liking, okay? I don't want you to spend this amount of money and then be disappointed. We pride ourselves on excellence and quality. Okay, I'm going to need... Here I be. Okay. And what is your relation to the child? You're the parent? Okay. Okay, here's your name. I'm going to need a phone number. Mm-hmm. What date do you want the party to be on? Okay. And I'll contact you if the weather for that day seems not so pretty. Okay. Also, I'm going to need the child's name. Full name for um, writing up invitations and also with the cake as well. Okay. How do you spell that middle name? Okay. Sounds good. I think we've gone over everything. Presents, hats, gift bags. And yes, I'm going to set up our appointments. Camp Charles will be tomorrow at 12. Um, cake testing. That's completely up to you. Um, I can set up a time pretty much an hour ahead um, and just go in as well as with the food. Well with the food it'll be a little bit different because we'll have to set things up but meeting with the cake person um, preferably we want to meet with them sooner so we can get our designs down but um, and the taste testing probably take about 30 minutes at most. Yeah it's quite enjoyable just to go and eat one of my perks of my job. Okay. And I'll be in close contact with you in case anything changes or you need to reach me. I'll be here. Um, do you have any other questions or perhaps ideas? No? Okay, well, I'm so glad you came to meet with me today. Oh, actually, I have one more idea. I was going to run this by you. Um, another really cool thing we can do with the kids is face painting. I totally forgot about that. Thank you. Do you want to do that? It doesn't take up much of the time. And, uh, anyone can do it. A parent or maybe a chaperone. You don't have to hire someone to do that. Okay, we'll do face painting. I'll make sure to bring the supplies. And photography. Sorry. You just want to take pictures? Um, yeah, I know someone who can do it quite cheap. And, of course, you still have to pay them versus yourself taking the pictures. You think you're just going to take pictures? Okay. So we'll cross that out. And we should be ready to it. Okay, great. Maybe when her next birthday comes around, you can come back to me. It was great seeing you. Have a great day.